So now what we need to do is this equals this plus sum of our income minus sum of our cash outflow and we're gonna ignore this right here ignore the error it's just saying that because this this uh, calculation is not consistent with this however we're going to carry this over and it will be consistent just the first one is going to be different to fix these you just go through here and do this you can see it automatically calculated that you have a fixed income you got paid and then we also pay some Expenses. Okay, I'm not going to do that anymore, but you get the point. In fact, I know there's a way. I'm there. We go. See that? I just highlighted them all. I should have done that all at once, and I knew that, and I don't know why. Sometimes I get carried away with these little monotonous little little thing. I guess it just kind of shows a little bit of my stuff. Like all these errors right here. I need to go and clear all of this. They're not errors. They're just... Okay. <clears throat> so, um, looks like we have some room for savings according to this budget. Now, something I want to go, go and do here is we could, uh, let's go ahead and make this green. And this is red. Good money coming in, bad money going out. Okay, we want to increase this, reduce this. Okay, so we have some room for extra spending or saving. And it looks like at the end of the month, we have $1,460. You know why? We need to go ahead and be more a little bit more realistic here. We have rental income. We have rental income. We probably have mortgage to pay on that. And we'll just assume this mortgage includes taxes. It's an escrow account. Let's say our mortgage is Taxes eight hundred dollars. And we see what happens there. Now notice when I hit in, uh, insert there, it automatically um, it automatically included that that new row in the formula. Okay. When you're watching this, you can kind of learn different uh, little functions with Excel as well. Okay, so we can see now if we want to, if we uh, we have that mortgage, you know, this this is what makes this budget good. Um, this template um, useful is because you can move things around and make them all work out. You, monthly, you have enough money to pay for all your expenses. You have plenty. Um, you actually have a surplus right here at the end of the month at $660. You just don't have enough money to pay it all at once. Um, and it looks like right here you are short $120. So um, all you really need to do is maybe move. You can move something back. Um, maybe like certain payments you can call up with. Uh, you can call up your. Uh, the bank that you got your car loan through and 
then you can set up to where the payment's due on the 15th instead. And then look what happens. You're in the positive all the way through. Okay. Now I'm going to add a border in this. Another thing I can do right here is conditional formatting. So if this does go negative, we will make it go red if it's positive. We'll just stay the way it is. So let's see. Um, highlight cells less than. Zero. Light red fill with dark red text. Okay. Now you don't see any of those, do you? But watch what happens if I move the car panel back. See that? Now they're negative. It's conditional format. And what I like about uh, Excel, this is 2010. Everything is easy. They, uh, I guess they really started doing that in uh, Excel 2007. So we have a conditional for formatting there. And uh, that's just a cool little tool. Add that back. Okay. Now let's say you wanted to... Um, let's say you just desperately needed to... Uh, get out of town, you had to buy a plane to get there for an emergency, and you had to do this on, say, the 3rd of October. But you have a problem. You have to pay your bills, and by the time you pay your bills, you won't have any left. Uh, but what you can do here, is you can just maybe call some mortgage company, just let them know you're going to have to pay it later. There's an emergency. Or a non emergency, if you just want to spend the money, move that over. And then, let's say this uh, miscellaneous trip you have to go on cost $600. Okay. Let's check. You're still positive all the way through. Okay. So, this is for one month. Let's get everything back. To our basic template. Let's get our mortgage payment back. I'm really kind of ignoring all the dollar symbols everywhere. I'm not. Um, I've done them, but you know, you you can format this however you want. <clears throat> you understand. You understand that this is money. Okay. Now, uh, now, uh, what we would do is copy this. down here and this would be November 1st and see how it automatically abbreviates it okay now that someone has one month we just kind of delete that it's just an extra row okay now, what you have to do here, is this is carrying over from October, so this needs to equal. The money you have in the bank, pretty much, at the end of October. Can you come back down? Plus, some your income minus some of your expenses to your cash output and then the savings is not okay there you go Now, uh, 